Hey YouTube, Jake Kilroy back in the shop for a quick project. Quick, as in small project, but nonetheless needs to be done. Let's bring the camera around, let's get right to it. So here's our project. You're probably wondering what in the hell is that, Kilroy? Uh, these are the finger locks on the steady rest on the new lathe. Um, They are uh, 10 millimeter by one and a half pitch. Uh, and obviously, they're pretty much shut. So, what are we gonna do about it? We're uh, McMaster car to the rescue. Some knobs. And some set screws that are already 10 and a half, 10 millimeter by one and a half pitch. And these are already threaded 10 millimeter one and a half pitch. But, uh, these won't work obviously, right? These little grooves here, these, I mean, these little uh, projections uh, go into a groove on the finger that uh, locks the groove, I mean locks the finger. I don't know if it actually has any part in an anti-rotation, but it does uh, lock it. So I need to turn these down to this diameter and to this length. Five point four, five point four millimeters. Uh, let's check it out. Five point three five, so somewhere in there. Uh, not a critical fit. Um, we're going to uh, put a collet chuck in the rivet and uh, to chuck up chuck up on these, and then uh, turn this down and turn this to length real quick. And uh, so let's get over there and do that. Before we go over there and start cutting. Uh, let's discuss measuring a little bit. Um, so we know we need to cut a um, say 5.4 millimeter. We need to cut this to 5.4 millimeters, this little projection here. And it needs to be longer as well. So, uh, but you know, in order to prepare for that, uh, we can take advantage of some of the features of a digital mic. So we take our measurement here and then go ahead and press zero, hold it. Okay, we've reset our origin. Now take one of our work pieces. Okay. We got to cut 1.366 millimeters off of this thing. So uh, we can go ahead and chuck this up in the lathe and start cutting. And we just cut until our measurement goes down to zero, right? So that's pretty easy. Now my lathe is not in, doesn't work in metric. I don't have a, a digital readout on it. so. My dials are all standard. So what is that standard? Well, okay. Let's uh, hold down the inch to millimeter. Okay, so I need to take off 53.8 thou. So that uh, makes life easy on me. So let's go back over to lathe and let's get this done. By the way, this is the new uh, Aventor uh, zero to one mic. Uh, from Shars, uh, Shars, the sponsor of the 2019 measuring contest at the Bash, and uh, Shars will also be sponsoring the 2019 uh, measuring contest at Good Little Land Fest this year. So please plan on being there. Uh, if you're there, look me up, come by, and take part. Uh, there's no cost to participate, but there will be prizes. 
uh, which means your ROI is um, return on investment is potentially very good. So come by and participate. And uh, anyway, I've, I've been uh, using this for a little bit here, and I have to say I'm pretty pleased with it. It's got some nice features. Um, it does have an SPC output. Uh, it also has, uh, what a lot don't have, is it has an absolute incremental mode too, uh, similar to your DRO. So obviously inch and millimeter, uh, and um, uh, it's, it's very well built. It, it's quite sturdy. Um, it's very similar, obviously, in appearance to a Michi Toyo, and um, I'll be honest with you, um, there's, there's no reason to think that it's real far uh, uh, different in quality either. Uh, it, it's, it's a hefty, uh, nice uh, unit, uh, well made, has uh, well ground carbide faces. I have not put it through the ringer in terms of uh, a metrology workout, but um, you know, we're going to get there. So, uh, but for right now, I have to say that I'm pretty pleased with it. So, uh, thank you to Shars for sponsoring the measuring contest this year. And, uh, Thank you to Charge for this uh, very nice uh, Aventor 0 to 1 mic. Uh, IP65 rated if you have the cap on the SPC out. Um, so you can, you know, splash this with coolant and whatever you need to do. So, uh, anyway, let's get back over to the uh, lathe and cut these parts up. All right, here we are. Um, we're checked up here. We're using a. 25 64 5 C collet, which works out fine for a 10 millimeter. Um, like I said, we've taken a measurement here. Yep, I bumped it. We are. Five thirty-three off, and uh, so we're going to come in, fire it up. We're going to come in and kiss off, and uh, probably, and then go ahead and zero my dials. Measurement on that um, that right there. All right, remove that burr. There was a burr on there from me cutting that piece, and uh, so we're uh, forty-eight point four. I've zeroed my dial. We're gonna fire it up. We're running fifteen hundred RPM. Go ahead and cut twenty. Cut another 20. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut 8. I'll take that. We're one point two small. That will work. Do the other ones and we'll be back over at the bench. Alright, so we got our parts machined here and they're uh 
degreasing in a little acetone. I'm going to get the insides here. Loctite doesn't work with a flip and grease. Some grunge down in that one. Little uh, little production machining uh, leftovers. Now these are, like I said, these are McMaster car parts. McMaster car being, my humble opinion, one of the finest uh, industrial and commercial supply houses in existence. Uh, they don't pay me to say that. Uh, they uh, just a very satisfied customer over the years. The great thing about their site is I was able to pull this piece up. I was able to look and see how deep the bore and threads were on this part and then I was able to get some set screws that were long enough to give me the same stick out as the factory pieces while being fully threaded without having to do guesswork uh, because they provide technical drawings as well as solid models to fit almost any CAD package for virtually everything on their site which is really really nice um, I'll do business with Master Car just because of that, <laughs> right? So uh, let's get these out here. Trust me, it doesn't take long for this acetone to dry out in Mississippi summer heat. Trust me, it doesn't take long for me to dry out. It's already gone to dry, you can see it. All right, got some um, Loctite, stick Loctite. I love this stuff, 268. This is the red, this is the don't um, use it unless you really want to uh, stick parts together. because it works. All right, get the excess off of there. And in just a few minutes, that baby will be there. All right, let these uh, set up for just a couple minutes and we'll go try them out in the machine. 
All right, parts are done on the machine. Here's a shot of the finished product. Little improvements go a long way in your use and or abuse of the machine. So the old parts going in the trash. And um, thanks for coming by and visiting the shop. Uh, got uh, working on a video for um, the Tom from Rob Bender. So look for that next. And um, lots more to come. So anyway, stay here from the shop and uh, be back with you soon. Thank you.